Hi, I'm Erin Vitel, Chair of Civil Engineering Technology. I'm going to give you a tour of the Civil Engineering Technology Department. Let's go. Uh, this is our student lounge over here, and students hang out and do homework there from all curriculums. You want to go in there? And yeah. Well, this is nice. Yeah. So it's a great place to hang out. Um, student groups work here together um, from mechanical, our uh, architecture, uh, electrical, and digital media and animation programs. All right, let's go down more towards the department. Uh, this is the faculty in our department. Uh, there's myself, Professor Petrowski, Professor Marshall, Professor Ford, Dr. Yadalahi, and Professor Mariotti. So I'll know who to look for when I get here. Yeah, and all professors not only have education, uh, related to what they teach but industry work experience so hopefully they have a great story to tell you about sometimes the dry material you have to learn okay our department houses uh, associates and bachelor's degrees in surveying and geomatics an associate's degree in construction engineering technology a bachelor's degree in construction management and a bachelor of technology in construction supervision Okay, a lot of variety. One of, uh, I think, the hallmarks of our program is that we are very big about you working in industry from as early in your college career as you can. Uh, every fall we take a picture of returning students and so in our construction program, uh, this is our sophomore class, so all of these kids work in industry after their freshman year. So students, it, they leave here prepared and ready to go. Definitely. Um, so these are our juniors and these are our seniors. So um, internships in Western New York, Central New York, New York City area, and Washington DC are common. Can um, I pick my own internship or is that assigned for me? No, you ha are responsible for going out and finding it. We send you tons of emails from employers saying these people are looking to hire, these people are looking to hire, but you have to follow up on that and uh, get the job with them. Okay, good. Yeah, so our surveying program is the same. Uh, the surveying program is a little bit smaller, so we put everybody in one picture, but working in the summer is definitely a possibility. Great, thank you. So the next thing is our National Fuel Student Conference Room. And uh, that's one thing you might not think about getting a job with a construction management degree is for utilities. Um, we have students working for National Grid uh, this coming June, graduating seniors, National Fuel, and also um, construction companies that primarily contract to uh, energy companies. Uh, that put in the gas lines and, and things like that. Uh, Excellent. So this is a great place that students only in the construction management curriculum can swipe into and work on projects. Oh, nice. It's nice to have a designated space. Yeah, yeah. And you feel kind of cool and special because it's a cool room. Absolutely. Um, most of our classroom space looks like this. Go on in. Okay, so laptops are required for all of our uh, programs and uh, there's Wi-Fi everywhere on campus um, and you can hook up to power and hardwire into the network if, if you need a faster uh, connection than Wi-Fi can provide. Great, thank you. The Dean of the School of Architecture, Management, and Engineering Technology's office is right here. And that's the school that our department is in. Okay, great. 
So if I have any questions related to my major, this would also be another place I could come and get some information. Yeah, and uh, a lot of forms, like add drop forms and change your major forms, sometimes need to be signed by the dean as well. Okay. And so it's close by, you can get that signature. Great. At the same time. Thank you. is our software room. We get all the lights on uh, for our department. So uh, we have software here, uh, ProEst for estimating, uh, Microsoft Project for scheduling, um, surveying uh, software in GIS, uh, primarily Carlson software for the surveying program. Um, and this is also a great study space for students in all of the civil engineering technology curriculums. Uh, this room has swipe card access 24 hours a day, so you can always get in here and work. Um, we have the desk set up in little pods, I'll call them, uh, so that students can work in groups. We have a lot of group works, work for our project-based learning. And we are in almost entirely paperless here, so that's why you see the very large screens for every pod on the wall, so that students can look at full-size engineering drawings um, in the electronic format. Okay. And this is pretty exclusive for just students in my majors, correct? Yes. So other I don't have to worry about somebody being in here when I'm trying to work? Yes. Other students do not have swipe card access, so that's a huge thing. Okay, great. <clears throat> so the next thing that uh, we're going to look at, if no one's in there, is the surveying room. very energy efficient here and all the lighting has motion detectors so if you're sitting in a room for a long time and the lights go off you need to get up and move around. Uh, this is our surveying uh, classroom primarily and freshman students in our construction curriculums and obviously surveying students in both the associates and the bachelor's degree will have classes in here and uh, we'll walk closer and you can peek out the window here but uh, or walk out there. Uh, you'll come here before your surveying lab and get equipment and get uh, set up. And then you're going to be out here on this hillside between here and Mackenzie Dormitory uh, creating surveying maps and doing construction layout using surveying equipment. Um, so a lot of hands-on experience then. A lot of hands-on. Uh, bring warm clothes. Okay? Definitely. Uh, you're out here once a week for three hours, regardless of the weather. All right. So just like the real thing. Yes. <laughs> oh, excuse yeah. me. associate constructor exam. It's an eight hour exam covering material from all four years of study. Over a thousand students and other construction management programs across the country take this every year. Um, in 2018, our pass rate was higher than the national pass rate and our average score was higher than the, the national average score. So uh, you can be assured that your education here is preparing you just as well as any other program in the country. Definitely, thank you. Uh, surveying programs do a similar thing. Um, most of our surveyors leave uh, at, at, during their senior year, right after their senior year, um, take the Fundamentals of Surveying exam. Uh, and that's the first step to becoming a licensed land surveyor. And that's certainly the goal of um, surveyors is to become licensed. Um, once you have that exam, uh, you need to add to it years of work under a licensed surveyor that you would do once you left school. Okay. So 
uh, our surveying program has an academic club called Alfred State Surveying, and they do a lot of things with the um, Professional Surveyors Association, um, mostly Nice Apples New York State um, Association of Plain Land Surveyors. Right. The poster you're looking at right now is from our advanced estimating class. A good majority of our classes focus on project-based learning and one of the projects we do in there is that students um, really get into a particular work item and come up with what does it cost for labor material and equipment to do that particular work item. All right, so other clubs that we have are construction management students and construction engineering students. Um, are, most of them become members of Associated General Contractors. The big thing that club does is go on uh, job tours. And most of the job tours, uh, people that work on the job as a project manager, project engineer, or superintendent are graduates of this program. So you kind of get to see what it is they do all day. Okay, and see different types of construction. We've gone to wind farm construction, we've gone to hospital construction, um, demolition, things like that. So it's really get to pick what you want to do. Great, a lot of variety. Yeah, we've also just started Mechanical Contractors of America Association Club. And uh, this group, Mechanical Contractors of America, is spending $1.5 million a year to recruit students. So um, they put on a pretty good show in their student convention that we went to for the first time last fall in Washington, D.C. And this coming fall, we're going to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So we'll see what they have for entertainment there. Excellent. So that's pretty much our department. We have this hallway, and uh, the faculty are on one side, and the classroom's on the other side. And there's a lot of camaraderie between because they see each other in uh, all of these labs a lot and we really make a connection and good friends here. That's great. Thanks for coming to Alfred State. Thank you, I hope to see you soon.